At times, some of the pious have a deviated, uh, deviated toward the extreme, at certain times by fasting, giving up sleep at night, refraining from uh, eating meat and drinking wine, uh, shunning women, wearing coarse wool and sackcloth, living on mountains, uh, or seeking solitude in the desert. These uh, deeds were performed uh, to, um, to correct their conduct, as explained above, or because of the um, degenerate nature of the people in their city. There is they saw that dealing with them and seeing their deeds impaired their own conduct. And they uh, feared that, they, that their character traits would be also be corrupted through their relationship with them. Therefore, they departed uh, from this society uh, to dwell in deserts uh, where there are no wicked people. And uh, as Prophet says, would, uh, would that I be granted the lodging place in desert? Okay, so there is a commentary and we, uh, it's from Yirmiyahu and we're going to explain um, what it all means. And it's actually like practical... Uh, a practical directive for all of us so we're going to explain how so let's see from from the beginning and we're going to explain at times some of the pies have uh, deviated toward the extreme uh, at certain times by fasting so it, like lead the life like this not good don't do it but sometimes okay right uh, by fasting give them up sleep at night so giving up sleep at night, uh, whoever tries, it's not easy. Like uh, most of the people cannot function. So it's like uh, a person tried to stay uh, stay up like uh, maybe one and two hours extra, and then he cannot or she cannot function next day. So it's like useless. You you, you lost more. You 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 lost uh, is more more than you gain, right? Refraining from eating meat and drinking wine. So if it's uh, yeah. So it's uh, like uh, some pleasure with the food, okay. Okay, continue. Shining women, okay. Uh, wearing coarse wool and sackcloth. So it's also not uh, not easy today. Every everybody try to to wear in like nice uh, like uh, soft clothing, but uh, this coarse wool, it's not uh, it's not uh, it's not easy. It's easy, right? And sackcloth. Living in the mountains, so you like try try like uh, from. From uh, from after living in the city, just move to a mountain. So good luck. Right? Okay, not not so easy. Or seeking solitude in deserts, like with snakes and scorpions and all of these uh, other animals. You know. Um. So the, these spies people would go sometimes through these extremes. These deeds were performed uh, to correct their conduct, as explained above. So they tried like to work on the break in some some case uh, all of these bad characters or some of the bad character traits and um, reverse them right to, to go in the right direction or because of the the, gen the degenerate nature of the people of the city there is uh, they saw that the dealing with them uh, and uh, seeing their deeds impairs their conduct so that's uh, what I said it's actually applied to all of us so when uh, when when you you live in such an environment that all of the wicked people like uh, you live in a neighborhood like all of the wicked people so you have to move out it's not a, it's not a suggestion it's a, that's halacha that's what you must do you cannot stay there right especially but I mean I wanted to say especially this deeds affect you but most likely they're going to affect you right if you if you around these people. Uh, for sure they're going to affect you, for sure. So you're, you're going in the office and let, let's say you have to deal with people, they want to uh, chit-chat with you. So that's uh, that's dangerous. That's, uh, I mean, uh, and uh, they're not uh, not uh, not religious people. That's, uh, it's only a matter of time when everybody's going down. And I so many times, like, uh, unfortunately, very unfortunately, in a place where I used to work, we have a mincha. We have like many minchas, like Baruch Hashem, there are many professionals. Uh, work there, it's like um, the business area um, and many minchas and, and you see a, a new guy would come like fresh from uh, from uh, I don't know, from, from the school from, from yeshiva, this guy black and white and, and suit and a hat and uh, 
tie, no tie, don't remember about tie. Usually no tie because we we don't use well tie there. Tie is there, right? Um, and just a matter of time, like months or six months. So this guy learned no white short. He's already in blue short, like uh, in a brown short. I no no dress pants. He like uh, uh, like uh, different pants, cargo pants. <laughs> like how, how did it happen? Why? Because uh, he was uh, working in that environment and uh, like peer pressure. Unfortunately, I hope. Uh, and 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 I saw these other guys. Like uh, first he were coming to 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 Dublin with a hat. It's not necessary, but okay, he was done with a hat. Okay, that was his custom. And then after sometimes he had uh, grew smaller somehow. Like this fancy schmancy hat when uh, like uh, young people wear. Like Fedora hat, but still like uh, not uh, not uh, not the Ishivishi hat that he came with. And very fortunately, right? So Rambam said, so if you, I mean, uh, with me, what was easy, I would say like uh, I was always on the phone or something, like try to resolve some issue or, or I pretend I would, I, I was doing like, I try not to talk to people or like minimal. Okay. But people would go like where I like from cubicle to cubicle and they would sit like and chat like hours and hours about, I don't know. That was very, would be very dangerous, especially for people who, for a person who would try to fit in. That's that's sentence when you try to fit in. Okay. Um, okay. So, right. Why would they so, uh, do that? They saw that they're dealing with them and seeing uh, their deeds impaired, their own conduct, right? So now they're this, uh, this uh, holy person living uh, among uh, all of these people or work around these people, right? Um, impairs his conduct. And they feared that their character traits would also be corrupted through relations with them. So it's, uh, as we said, it's only a matter of time. And I saw with my own eyes, it was it's such a sad uh, thing to see. Like, kosher people would try to fit in. Therefore, they are um, departed from their societies and dwell in the desert uh, where there are no wicked people, um, uh, as, as the Prophet says. So we're going to say what Prophet says, but uh, Rambam said in the Hilchot Yod, he said, you must move and uh, uh, to another country when the, there is store. And if there is a uh, range of troops, like uh, there is a war or like bandits and uh, it's very unsafe to go to another place. So he said, go, go to the desert and live in the desert. Like uh, you have a choice. But, uh, but you, you cannot compromise your soul and live in, uh, around these uh, this wicked people. That's how, how important it is uh, to, to live in a kosher environment. Okay. So it says, uh, so, uh, so he said, uh, would, um, would that I be granted a lodging place in desert? Coming to Yirmiyahu 9.1. <clears throat> The conclusion of the verse, and I will leave my people and go to them, for they are all adulterers, faceless band. That's it, right? So we're not talking about non non Jewish heretics. We're talking about unfortunately about Jews at that at that time. So he has to move. Indicated that Rambam is not merely borrowing a, a biblical phraseology. He said in the verse that addresses itself specifically to the problem or live in this corrupt society. So don't leave. You, you have no right to, to live again uh, with, with these people. Okay. See also Hilchot Yod 6.1. But Rambam also cites the proof text uh, and states that we are obligated to, li uh, to leave cities and countries whose uh, societies uh, ca could corrupt our conduct. See, also you get it Hashmat, where this subject is discussed. So if if uh, there is a uh, like country, they're going, going left, left, left too much, right? So you have to live or a uh, city or like a uh, state or whatever is it. So, but uh, but if you stick to Jewish community, that uh, that would be the safest way. I mean, yes, you live in that country, but you you're like uh, in some sense like se segregated in different community. Okay. <music>